Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live at 6. Online complaints from people renting in the area are catching a lot of attention. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. From dirty apartments to unreturned deposits, dozens of people in the Valley are filing complaints online against their rental properties. And some are getting solutions, others are just venting. Now, Goldmark Property Management in Fargo has a couple of dozen complaints on the Better Business Bureau's review list. Knowing your rental rights is the key, according to inspectors. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter, Nicole Johnson, shows us solutions to a couple of the most common complaints we get on our whistleblower hotline. A few times a month, people call our whistleblower hotline upset about the place they're renting. Two of the most common complaints we get mold in the apartment and no heat got a smell we did a story just over a year ago with a 20 year old expecting twins she was upset with the mold in her apartment i don't want to put babies in here knowing that it's right on the other side because i don't know what that's going to do the city inspector tells us if the mold is caused by a leak or plumbing it's the landlord's responsibility to take care of it but he says surface mold is caused by the tenant meaning they have to clean that mess up another complaint is very cold you know we cannot sleep no heat we talked to a whistleblower back in october they say mommy do something Go, go fight with them. Go call the police. I say I cannot. The city inspector tells us landlords are required to supply heat from September 15th to June 1st and maintain a minimum of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We also get a lot of complaints about bed bugs. The Better Business Bureau says in most cases, the extermination fees are not the tenant's responsibility. However, if the landlord can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the tenant is responsible, the renter will have to pay. If you're looking for a resolution, you're required to contact your landlord with a problem. If they don't call you back, put it in writing. And if worst comes to worst, Know your rights. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. If you're curious about your renter's rights, you can find a link to both Minnesota and North Dakota on our website and a number to call for help understanding them. Just log on to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. If you need help uncovering fraud and corruption in your community, call our whistleblower hotline and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it. Call 237-6576 and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth. Police have cleared the scene of a rollover near the Walmart on 52nd Avenue in South Fargo. Officers told Valley News Live that two teens were in a pickup going too fast. They clipped a light pole and then hit a fire hydrant before rolling the pickup. No one was seriously hurt in that crash. Officers have cleared the scene where they were negotiating with a man earlier today. West Fargo police tell us there was concern that someone with a gun was threatening to harm themselves. Police were focusing on a home in a cul-de-sac on 10th Street West in West Fargo, which is near the intersection of 19th Avenue and 10th Street. West Fargo Public Schools rerouted buses away from the area and say kids who lived in the neighborhood were kept at school until someone could come pick them up. Police tell us they haven't located the person they're looking for, but believe there is not a safety risk to the community. Bond was set at a million dollars cash today for a 28-year-old Enderlin, North Dakota man accused of shooting and killing another man on Sunday in Enderlin. Paul Miller was wearing orange prison clothes with messy hair and glasses in court today. He kept his head down most of the time. More than 20 people were on hand, mostly family, family members of Miller and the victim, Billy Holiday. Extra security was called in. No one was allowed to wear their coats in the courtroom. The two families sat on separate sides and exited separately. Holiday's family was emotional when the judge went over the murder charge. Still no word on a motive for the killing. Ransom County Sheriff says the murder investigation is ongoing and he's not commenting on whether there are many any other suspects, including two men that were mentioned in earlier court documents as being nearby when the shooting took place. If he's found guilty, Miller faces life in prison without parole. We woke up to a fresh dusting of snow here in the valley, and the question is, is there more to come? Let's head over to Hutch Johnson for a first look. Hutch? 
Thanks so much, Andrea. Actually, some of our neighbors just to the west of the FM area are seeing some light flakes continue, although it looks like it's decreasing in intensity as we head into the evening hours. But do not be surprised if those clouds produced a few ice crystals this evening. Speaking of ice, look at the cold weather. Bidet, eight below. It's seven in Thief River Falls, and hey, they're getting in the sandbox in Jamestown. It's nine degrees, but it's above zero. It's warmer to the west, but tonight temperatures in the single digits, flurries to the west. And as we go through the evening tonight in Grand Forks, temperatures approaching zero by bedtime tonight. So cold here, very warm to the west, and a good chance of snow in the forecast for tomorrow. I'll have details on how that'll impact your day and when it comes here in just a minute. All depends on where you live. It does. Thanks, Hutch. Mm -hmm. Rachina Lavala, the woman charged in a GoFundMe scam for Lake of the Woods boaters, has been rushed to a Bemidji hospital. The sheriff's department says she was at the Lake of the Woods County Law Enforcement Center last night, but was later flown to the Bemidji hospital. Lavala was charged with two counts of theft after money was discovered missing from a GoFundMe account for three boaters who died on Lake of the Woods last fall. Police say $7,000 from that account was never dispersed to the victims' families. A body's been recovered and connected to a couple charged in a robbery spree. The body, which is believed to be Amanda Angst, was found in the Cheyenne River near Warwick, North Dakota. She went missing in October after last living in Warwick. The sheriff there says that there was a vehicle in the river. No vehicle was found in the river where the body was discovered. He would not discuss specifics of what led them to the search the, to search that river. Based on information we had learned, uh, we contacted the Jamestown Dive and Rescue Team who came up and used a remote ROV to search that area of the river where the body was located. Does it appear the cause of death was uh, natural? No. Authorities also say Angst's car was used in a robbery spree that started in Pearly, Minnesota last fall, but she was not involved in the robberies. However, authorities say that Angst was an accomplice of Billy and Crystal Herman. They're the couple charged with the Pearly robbery and others. The couple is now in jail facing numerous charges, but they were on the loose last fall when Amanda Angst went missing. A Fargo man accused of abusing a toddler pleaded not guilty in court today to felony child abuse or neglect. Court documents say Pittman Chipu told police that he disciplined a two-year-old by hitting him and holding him in a cold shower. The documents also say police were called to Essentia Health on December 31st for a child abuse report. The report says the toddler was repeatedly hit in the genitals, causing swelling and bruising. The child also had bruises and scratches on his face, chest, and legs. Chipu was the boyfriend of the toddler's mother. Police in Holly are asking for help in identifying a woman they're calling a person of interest. Two surveillance pictures were released of the female that they're looking for. We're told the case involves a shoplifting incident at Living Good on the morning of January 27th. Now, if you recognize the woman in the pictures, contact Holly Police at the phone number on your screen, 218-483-4666. It's a country wish come true for a Fargo 14-year-old. Tonight on Valley News Live, 10 at 10, a break from all the doctor's visits and stress. Valley News Team's Krista Bame shares Anna Lee's fashion show, a journey from open heart surgery to Nashville, Tennessee, in style, so she can meet her favorite country music star. Look forward to that. Yes. There's no end when it comes to planning a wedding. Later on Valley News Live at 6, we'll have some help for those of you looking to pick out a gown. And this morning, flakes of snow move through the valley. And as we turn the calendar toward tomorrow, another round of flakes is in the forecast. Details are coming up next.